Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I've looked at a lot of different ways to make coffee and a whole lot of ways to make French press coffee here on the channel. But I think today we're gonna review the lightest product we've ever used to make French press coffee. Stay tuned and we're gonna review the very popular Bestergott Titanium French Press you can get on Amazon for 35 bucks. Stay tuned, we'll check it out. Thanks for watching guys. Now there are a lot of things to love about this particular product, but before we take a look at it, let's talk about the French press process itself. I searched on the internet, I put together quite a few different sources, and kind of tried to come up with the best method for making French press coffee. Now of course you have to start with your coffee. I always use whole bean and I grind it myself. We're gonna be grinding it today here on the trail. Today I've got some Dunkin' Donuts, uh, just a regular roast, but you really can get any type of coffee you want. Just try to make sure it's pretty good quality. You will tell the difference. You wanna use a coarse ground coffee. Most places say like the consistency of kosher salt, so it's kind of pretty coarse ground. You wanna use a heaping teaspoon or seven or eight grams of coffee for every 200 milliliters of water. We're probably gonna do about 400 milliliters, so we'll use two heaping teaspoons today. You wanna use hot water, not boiling water, almost boiling water, because you can scald the coffee a little bit and affect the taste and kind of give a little bit of a burnt taste if you use really, really hot boiling water. Once you have your water, you add it to the coffee, stir gently, and then wait three or four minutes and let it steep for that amount of time. Once you've gone three or four minutes, press on the French press and drink your coffee. Now let's take a look at this press. So this is the press itself. It comes with a very nice little carrying case or bag. The dimensions on this are 3.9 by 4.3, so basically 3.9 in diameter and 4.3 tall. For you metric folks, that's 100 millimeters by 110 millimeters. Weight is 7.7 .7 ounces. Capacity is 750 milliliters, so that's complete. It's not gonna make 750 milliliters of coffee because you have to allow some room for the press and the coffee and everything, but that's the total amount for this pot. The materials are titanium for the pot itself. The press is made out of stainless steel, okay? But the rest is all made out of titanium. It has this bale, which is nice, and these butterfly handles. That is a really nice uh, touch, for me at least, to have both those. You can use this as just a pot if you want. It's just a basic 750 milliliter pot. Has a little pour spout, which is very convenient because this is a French press. It does have integrated measurements on the inside. Let's see if I can show you guys that. I'll try to zoom in. Oh, there's a little sun, beautiful. Integrated measurements, which are very nice. And like I said, it comes with a nice case. This is almost like a padded case. It's really nice. Uh, one of the nicer uh, stuff sacks that I've gotten with kind of a cheaper product like this. The press itself, as you can see, you can take off the top here. Okay, just unscrew this. Once you do that, you can take this top and use this as just a regular pot. You can stow this away. You can also take this apart. You can stow this away in your uh, possibles pouch or whatever. And then when it's time to make some coffee, you just screw it together, put the top on, put this little handle on, and you're ready to make some coffee. And in fact, I'm ready to make some coffee, so let's get going.
Like I said, you have a lot of options when it comes to making coffee on the trail, and there's a lot of options for French press coffee. I've reviewed probably seven to 10 French presses here on the channel over time and they work really well. But what makes this particular product worth your while? Well, first of all is the weight. Just over seven ounces is a pretty good weight for a titanium French press. Like I said, you can take the press off and use it just as a pot. This thing has both the bale on top, you can use it over an open flame. You have the butterfly handles, you can handle it very easily if you wanna use it just like that. It's nice to know that you don't have to carry a French press and a pot with something like this. You can just use the entire package for both. Obviously, you could take this French press system and put it, say, for example, in the Tokes 750 milliliter pot, but it doesn't have the hole in the top. It's going to be hard to do. Like I also mentioned, the carrying case, I mentioned it again because it is a very nice one. Now, the string on top is already starting to cause me some problems, so maybe it's not as great as I thought, but as far as the actual stuff sack, it's got almost a little bit of padding to it, and it's really nice. The biggest pro is the cost, $35. I mean, it's hard to beat. 35 bucks for something like this. You get a full cook pot and a full French press for a very good price. Now there are very few products out there that you wouldn't change something on and there are a few things I would change on this product as well. It would be nice if you want to take it apart and use the French press separate. When you do that, the actual French press at the bottom kind of comes apart so you have to keep hold of all those little pieces. And then you also can't put the handle on the top. It would be nice if there was some way to keep that bottom piece together and a separate screw that you could carry, which of course I already found and you can do it yourself, but it'd be nice if it included it. That way you could just screw it onto the top and use it as a regular pot. Speaking of that little handle, it is, it's heavy. I mean, it's, it's, it seems to almost take up like a tenth of the weight of the whole thing. It's stainless steel, so it's pretty heavy. They don't really have to do that. As soon as my shop is back in order, I'm gonna go ahead and wood turn a wooden handle for the top and it'll be a lot lighter than this one. But those are pretty nitpicky things when you're talking about a $35 piece of gear. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist on coffee, on my love of coffee. Coffee is one of those wonderful things, and I love making it out on the trail. Make sure you look down in the description for a link to that playlist. Do me a big favor, guys. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube for me and helps my channel out tremendously. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button, and if you want to be absolutely sure you don't miss any videos, hit that notification bell, and you'll be the first to know. There's a storm coming, and it is coming pretty quick, so I'm going to pack up my stuff and head back across the property here, get back in the cabin, sit it out a little bit while the rain comes through. As always, guys, I really appreciate all the support. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.